Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. So how many of you guys, by show of hands, have made Push Dose Epi before? Good. Good. So um, as a side note, yeah. Dr. Mellick made a great video starring me and Dan of Push Dose Epi on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah. It goes there and gives you very step-by-step -step instructions with some great little ER banner. Rock solid show. We will absolutely <laughs> link to that. Man, we were really good looking back then. We were, yeah. Uh, what happened? Stress of this place. Uh, <laughs> the young minds. The young minds have taken their toll. <laughs> Damn it, guys. Um, so basically what you do is you take a saline flush. Okay, so 10 ml saline flush. You squirt 1 ml of it at your least favorite person that's working with you. Okay. Um, and then you're left with 9 ml of normal saline. You get crash cart epi, okay, which is one to 10,000 epinephrine, okay? And with a blunt tip um, needle, you pull off one ml of, of epinephrine. Now what you have made is a one to 100,000 epinephrine mixture, okay? Because we diluted that one to 10,000 epinephrine and we stepped on it to make it one to 100,000. Now if you do not shake this, what you've basically done is you put one ml of epinephrine and 9 ml is a normal saline behind it. So, so let's make some mixed drinks by getting a little bit of air in the syringe and then shaking it vigorously so you've actually mixed it up and you don't give them 1 ml, which is really 0.1 of epi, whoops, and then follow it up with a bunch of normal saline. That's not how the pros do it, guys. Don't do that. So make sure that you shake it. The most important thing, and this is how you can really, you can really hurt someone bad if you don't do this right, is that syringe has two things happen to it. One, it gets labeled. My favorite quick and dirty way is to take a Band-Aid and a pen and put it on there. I don't know why Band-Aids work better than the tape, but it's really hard to write on that tape. Um, but you either get a real label, which if you can find it, good luck, but you just get a Band-Aid from the drawer that you got your blunt tip from and write on it that this is epinephrine. And then that syringe does not leave your person. It goes in your pocket, never leaves it. And the reason that's so important is that that looks like normal saline. It looks like a saline flush. And if you put it down and a nurse is like, hey, i got to flush this IV, and they grab it, they've just given 0.1 milligrams of epinephrine to a patient, which is super dangerous. Okay, So that never leaves your possession. It goes in your pocket. You are the only one that touches it. If you lay it down and someone else gives it, it is your fault, and you're terrible. You should <laughs> repent for your sins. Um, the great thing about this is that you can give 1 to 2 mLs every 2 to 5 minutes. So the only number that you have to remember is the max dose. Okay, you can give two mLs every two minutes. Okay, if you want to give less than that, that's very appropriate. Just give them a little touch, that's fine. You can give one mL up to every five or whatever you need. But the max dose is two mLs, which is 0 0.02 milligrams, Q2 minutes. Okay, and you have to let the nurses know that you're doing this and you have to document that you're doing it because you're making a probably slightly illegal drip that's not approved by pharmacy. Okay, um, but the key thing is that you have a one to 100,000 mix. This is very safe if it extravasates because it's the same concentration as your lidocaine with epinephrine, okay? So if you're numbing up someone to repair like a cut on their leg or whatever, you're using one to 100,000 epi. So even if you deposit that entire syringe IM into someone's arm, you're actually probably not hurting them, which is not the case if you um, deposited a, a higher concentration of epi willy-nilly and it extravasates over time. That, that may not be as safe. So you can also, with a pediatric, you do the same thing for pediatrics, and, and basically you're going to be doing, uh, uh, you know, when you do pediatric ACLS, you do 0.1 ml per kilogram of the ACLS epinephrine. You use that same concentration of 0.1 ml per kilogram of, the, of this mixture of 100,000 of the pulse dose epi, and that gives you really one microgram per kilogram per dose. So if you look at the pediatric epinephrine infusions, it's 0.1 to 1 micrograms per kilogram per minute. So you're at the upper end of your pediatric um, epinephrine infusion, but you're just doing pulse doses. And so it's a very easy way to remember how to, and, and I would do this in a kid who's like anaphylactic, and you want to do um, IV epinephrine, but you're standing like, what do I, you know, how much do I give? Uh, you can start an infusion, which may take a little bit more time, or you can just mix up your pulse dose epi, just like you do for adults, and give 0.1 ml per kilogram <coughs> as a push dose. That's a great pearl. Because honestly, like the kids, 
they handle epinephrine like a boss, all right? Like that 80-year-old that's a little septic, her heart does not like seeing a bunch of epinephrine hit her system. That three-year-old, like they've got a rock-solid ticker, all right? They're fine. Um, and so epinephrine is probably underutilized in general in pediatrics. And if it crosses your mind for that anaphylactic kid, sure, you could just give it IM, but if you can make up your own push-dose IV epi, and not have to wait on that drip to, to get mixed and put in through a pump. This is a great thing that can save a life while you're getting all that other stuff ready. And I'll send some links. We've got some stuff uh, published on that. Too, so. uh, email me that now. I'll put it through the YouTube thing as well. You put the CC in though, what you just said though? Is that a, I think it's point one F ML per kilo. Per kilo. So you got to adjust for their weight. After you make it pushed up. After you make it pushed us. So if you gave a full CC, that would be safe for someone up to like 50 kilos or so. So honestly, if a kid's over 50 kilos, they're a small adult. Don't tell anyone I said that. But if they're really small. very tiny bit of that syringe. Yeah. And there's not a lot of science exactly behind this. Before you start doing higher math, I mean, you can look at a baby and be like, oh, that's like one-tenth of a jed. I'm going to give them one-tenth of the push-dose epidose. You'll be all right. You'll be all right.